Yo, what's going on guys, Zelo here. And today we have my father's M4 right here in front of me. And we're gonna be getting some go fast parts on it. So these have been around for a few months now. This is before the car even came in. We had a bunch of bolt-on parts that are waiting to go on. The reason for the wait was because the car has a 1200 mile break-in, so you can't really hear anything anyways. Like you're not allowed to go over a certain RPM. And you know, you're not able to really see the difference. So pretty much we were just waiting on the 1200 mile break-in to go by and then we could actually put these on and so yesterday uh, we actually took this to the bmw dealer and had the service done and we were finally able to push the car these things are fast stock i'm not even gonna lie like it took me off guard how quick these are the x drive specifically it, they're very quick guys so in front of me right here we have some parts from uh mad if you guys know mad mastery of art and design i think it is you see their logo there so yeah, we have some parts from them. Um, right here is the front mount intakes. The filters are in these boxes right here. Um, not everything is unboxed yet, but we're gonna do that soon. I just didn't have time to get everything unboxed. Yeah, and then these are the downpipes right here. These are the Fat Boy downpipes specifically. These are like really high quality guys. If you're concerned about anything from Mad, I wouldn't be concerned. Everything we've gotten from them just looks super quality. And I just went ahead and kind of unwrapped this one a little bit, but this is the single mid pipe. There's another one underneath here, I believe, like some more hardware and stuff. And the brace right here, this is also super high quality. But all this is gonna be going on in the car today. Um, it shouldn't be too long of a video, just because I'm not gonna show the install process or anything. I, we're not really good with this whole, like all the bolt-on stuff. So we're gonna have our buddy do this. And I, like I've said in my videos before, I don't like recording people while they're installing stuff. You know, they're just trying to get everything done. I'll just leave them alone with that. But I did record a before clip of how the exhaust sounded. So this car, like I said, it, it was completely stock. The only thing this car had done to it was the valve controller. Um, if you don't know what that is, it pretty much just controls the valves. And you, can, you could pretty much leave the car in any mode. So you could change the modes to efficient, I believe it is and you'll still have the valves fully open. It just kind of gives you more control. And from factory, these cars don't come with the valves completely open, even if you put it in sport mode or anything. So just so anyone that doesn't know that, your car is not as loud as it can be. So I definitely recommend the valve controller if you don't have that. Um, there's a bunch of different brands you could look through, but definitely get that because it makes a difference. So while it was stock pretty much, we just had that and it was enough sound to get us through that. But now it's definitely time for some more sound. All of this is going on today. I would like to make, you know, a before and after between each part, but we just want everything on today. So like I said, I did get a recording of the sound before. I'll go ahead and throw that in once all of these are installed. I want like a direct before and after. I know some people like to put it like, they'll put the before in the beginning of the video and it doesn't really give you a great comparison. So I'll be showing you guys just the before and after. Um, and then it'll be valves open only. So with the valve controller, I only left it open in that clip. So I didn't really do like a closed valve clip or anything just because most people only really care about open. <laughs> so you'll just pretty much be seeing that. And yeah, guys, just let me know what you think about this setup. Um, if you have any questions or anything, let me know in the comments. And yeah, I'll go ahead and throw the clips up now of the before and after. leave the valve controller to factory pretty much we're not going to use the valve controller for the, these revs so it's going to be pretty much closed and then we're going to throw it into m1 so pretty much this would be the setup if you didn't have a valve controller so that was closed and this is open going to open it with the valve controller so it's even louder. <laughs> So that's actually a lot louder. So for anyone that's contemplating if they should get the valve controller or not, um, if you want to be really loud, this is the way to go. Actually guys, I completely forgot about Sport Plus. So now you'll hear it with the purples. So this will be even louder. <laughs> So you can definitely hear with 
the burbles it's even louder um, if you like burbles this makes them a lot more like they pop definitely different from factory so if you do like burbles this will actually make your burbles louder um, we kind of like it without the burbles so for us the rolling with it in efficient and then having the, the valves open it kind of just gives you both it kind of works pretty well there i definitely would recommend a valve controller if you don't have one whenever you have it with the stock setup it may not make the biggest difference but with this setup it definitely makes a decent sized difference also i forgot to tell you guys that we actually put some exhaust tips on there so that's probably why it looks different this is still the factory axle back you can see the diaper <laughs> so it's still the factory uh axle back is just the tips that were changed out here from the original video Yeah, guys, uh, sorry it wasn't like a perfect comparison. This, this is more just to show you afterwards the whole mid pipe and down pipe setup um, and also the intakes. As you can hear, they all sound very good. I think the car sounds a lot better than it did from factory. You couldn't even hear it before. So definitely a big difference that sounds really good. But yeah, I appreciate y'all for watching and I'll see you guys later.